Hallelujah, families and friends of on YouTube. This is your sister Masa coming to you with another video today. Brothers and sisters, I come to encourage you in the faith that we should trust the law at all time, trusting the law in our generation, our generation that is so evil, families and friends. The only person that can save you and I in this generation is God through Christ Jesus' blood that will share on the cross of covering for the mission of our sin. The world is so evil, families and friends, we need to serve God with our heart, mind, body, and soul, and be committed in the things of God, and observe to do His commandment, walk into His statutes and His ways, concerning our life, to walk after holiness, brothers, and walk in holiness, seek after holiness, and live in holiness with God, Christ Jesus. We need to repent every day of our life, of our sin that we commit, excuse me, we sin against God, families, even we need to ask God to forgive us our shortcoming every day of our life because we are sinners. We sin against God every minute, every second of our life, families and friends. We need to come to the saving grace and the knowledge of to tell God, Father, I'm a sinner, have mercy upon me. Yes, we need to ask God for forgiveness every day of our life, brothers and sisters, because we sin every day and fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's so good and wonderful. He's so kind. He's so marvelous. He's the great our and he's our healer. He's too faithful to fear us. He is so gracious to fear you and I. He's so wonderful to fear us, the son said. He is so precious. He's too forgiving to fear you and I. He's so promising to fear you and I. Brothers and sisters, he's so wonderful to fear us. He's so precious to fear us now. He cannot fear us, brothers and sisters. He cannot fear you and I now. We need to put, we need to put our trust in the law. Than ever before, we need to pray with our season, families and friends, in the book of Second Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, brothers and sisters. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Telling you and I have also pray with our season. Families and friends, we need to pray with our season. There's no time limited in prayer. When God said prayer without ceasing, He means we need to pray 24 hours around the clock, families and friends. Every minute and second of the day, we can pray and God will hear us. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew, brothers and sisters, Matthew chapter 5. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. It's telling us about lost prayer. It's telling us how to pray. But families and friends, before I go to the scripture, let me just pray with you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you, O oh God. This hour commit my brothers and my sisters, families and friends, on this live video, on YouTube channel. I pray, O oh God, that Lord, you'll be able to touch the heart of my YouTube channel followers. Be with them, O oh God, even as they listen to me, O oh God, let them be so subscribe and leave a comment and like my videos and share it to the family members. I need to listen to the word of God. Father, I just want to thank you that bless you, O God, for these videos. That people will come across this video in the future to watch it, O God, and listen to your word. That law, they will be saved. They will be, the lives will be transformed. They will be delivered. They will be touched. The level will be the same. I just want to thank you, O God, for your grace on this channel. Your grace and your favor over this channel, O God, to do great and mighty things. To bring forth people from all over the world to come and subscribe to this channel. That your name will be glorified, O God. We are yet to lift the name of God high. Hallelujah. Through our praises, through our commitment, through our services that we offer unto God. Hallelujah. Through holiness and obedience. Walking into his status and his commandment. That you open his treasures to put down his blessing upon us. Thank you, Jesus. He said, it will hack it onto the voice of the Lord. Deuteronomy 28. He said, we should hack it onto his voice and observe to do his commandment. That blessings will follow you and I. I will go in, I will be a blessing. I will come in, it will be a blessing. Families and, friend, families and friends, we need to hack it onto the voice of the Lord to, to receive the blessing of God in this world. He said, we should pray without seeking brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. The coming of the Lord in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter First Thessalonians chapter 5, brothers and sisters, it tells you about the coming of the law. And read that, it tells you that the Lord, the day of the Lord will come to go thief in the night. You and I 
how to be prepared at all time to pray without ceasing, preparing ourselves for the coming of the Lord because He's coming for the church. And He said, judgment will begin from His house. God will begin the judgment for you and I, families and friends. God's judgment will begin with the church. We need to be prepared, families and friends, and pray at all time. Because when judgment begins, that you and I will be here ready. When the Lord comes, the thief in the night will be prepared to meet him. The like fire bride room that were ready to meet the bride. Hallelujah. They had enough oil in the lamps that when the door was open, they went in. They were not let the fire foolish that started asking for oil because the lamp went off. Let will be little wise that will not be left behind, families and friends. In time like this in our generation, that the days are so evil. That also we should redeem the time for the days are evil. The days that we are in, brothers and sisters, the days are so evil. That's why the word of God says we should redeem the time for the days are evil. We are living in an evil time, evil generation. Families and friends, we need to draw near to God that he will draw near unto us. Families and friends, he said we should return unto him in the book of Malachi. And he will return unto us. He said we have gone far away from his ordinance, his statutes, his commandment. He said we return, we should return unto him. Families and friends, in every way we have wronged God by not paying our time and our offering, in every way we have lived in disobedience, he said we should return back to him. If we realize our mistake and confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we need to pray without ceasing. We need to pray. We got 24 hours in the day. We need to make time for our God. He needs us to build a concrete relationship with Him. Intimate relationship we need to have with our God. Build a concrete relationship and a communication line that will be always open between we and our God. Families and friends. In humbleness, obedience, steadfastness, commitment, persistency, consistency. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Family, I will read for you the book of Matthew chapter 6 from verse 5. Matthew chapter 6 verse 5, family, I will read it for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You say, when, and when thou pray, thou shalt not be little hypocrites as they, they love to pray standing in the sunny gods and in the corner of the streets. Hallelujah. He's telling us we should not be like the hypocrites standing in the sunny gods in the street corner to pray. Hallelujah. That they may be seen by men. He said, if we pray that they will want ourselves to be seen by men. We say, Lord, I say unto you, they have the reward already. If we pray in this manner, brothers and sisters, we, we already have our reward. Hallelujah. God said we already have our reward. But when that, when that Prayers. He telling you and I know now. He said when we pray, enter into that crosset. And when thou has shut the door, pray to that Father which is in secret. Brothers and sisters, if you and I beginning to build a, a very concrete relationship, okay, getting closer to our God, our Maker, our Creator, through communication and prayers, we need. To go into our crosses and shut our doors and pray to our Father who is in secret, families and friends. And our Father who is in secret, which sees you in secret, shall reward you openly as you go inside cross and actually seeking your, the face of God in your cross. He will see your heart that you are praying. He is going to reward you openly in the eyes of your enemy. He will astonish you with your blessing in the name of Jesus. He said, but when ye pray, use not vain repetition words. We should not use words in vain as a hidden do. For they think that they shall be, well, be heard of, of their much speaking words. Much words that they use in, in, in speaking to God. They think that God will hear them because of that. But he's saying to you and I, our prayer is not by using repeated word, repetition. We use repetition all the time in our, in our prayer. God don't want us to pray in that manner. But then he telling us, he said, But be ye therefore like unto them. Be ye not therefore unto them. 
for your father knoweth what thing you you have need of before he asks. He said, for he know what we need before we ask him. Hallelujah. But after this manner, ye pray. He said, after that, before we pray unto our father, who know and see our heart in secret and know what we are praying for, we should pray our father like this. Our father who are in heaven, hello, where be that name? Dark kingdom of God, come on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us, O God, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, O God, but deliver us from every evil. For that is your kingdom, your power, and your glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the prayer that God wants you and to, to offer when we are praying to him, families and friends. He wants us to pray in this manner. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because he said we know what we need before even asking. He said, after this manner, therefore, we should pray like this. Using, praying the Lord's prayer, families and friends. We should pray using the Lord's prayers in our prayer. God wants us to pray as he has taught us to pray. And using the Lord's prayer for us to pray and seek in the face of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says we should pray without ceasing and we should pray the Lord's Prayer and not using vain words repeatedly. Hallelujah. Repeating one words over and over unto God. God is hearing us. Anyhow, we pray, He listens to us. We don't have to be using vain words when we are praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'll read for you the book of uh, Matthew 6 after the two scriptures I just read. Now I'll read for you Matthew 6, uh, 38. Matthew 6, 38. Go up to share. And this is oh yeah, Matthew 26, Matthew 26, 38. I'm sorry. 26, verse 38. Then say unto them, My soul is a serious sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye ye wish and wash. With men, and he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass over me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but your will. Jesus went to go pray, families and friends. Jesus went to go pray. Hallelujah. Jesus went to go pray when he found out he was coming into temptation. The time for him to be crucified was approaching. He went to go pray to his father. If Jesus, the son of God, can go and go pray for us and friends, then one, one more, what's more about you and I in our time, in this evil generation? He left and said, Be I'm going to go pray. Hallelujah. He went to go pray to his father. In fell on his feet, begin to pray, say, Father, if you will, never did let, let it come pass over me. And he came unto the disciple and found them asleep. And said unto them, Peter, why ye thou wash with me one hour? Hallelujah. Can we not wash and pray with God and pray to God for one hour? Brothers and sisters, we need to wash and pray with God for even an hour. In our time, in our evil generation, we need to pray. We need to get God our time to pray with him. He said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. He tell you, oh, watch and pray, brothers and sisters, that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Brothers and sisters, our spirit in all is willing to pray, but our flesh is weak. That's why we need to pray every day. Families and friends without ceasing. 
that God will build up our spirit to be very strong in us. Then he went away the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my God, my Father, if this cup may be not passed away from me, except I drink of it, let it be done. Like that will be done. He went again to go pray to his father, telling his father, Father, if this is your will, that the cup be for me, let it, let your will be done in the name of Jesus. He went to go pray that his father's will should be done in the name of Jesus. And he came and found them asleep again. And he tell, and for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then come he to his disciples and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Brothers and sisters, we need to pray without ceasing. We need to pray, brothers and sisters, that Jesus is telling you and how to pray before we enter into temptation. Because every day of our life is the enemy, the enemy they are out there seeking us to devour us. Brothers and sisters, he is seeking who he will devour. And he came to seek you and destroy. That's why Jesus said we should pray without ceasing. He said we should pray that we not fall into temptations. Because brothers that we pray that we, our spirit in us will be weak to avoid temptation. That even if we are going through the temptation, God's spirit will make us strong to withstand the temptation and trials that we are facing. Families and friends. Hallelujah. It says, rise us, be going, behold, he is at hand that do betray me. He tell them, you are rise up now, you have slept for long, now is the time that I need to be delivered to sinners, to be betrayed by the one that is coming in the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, if you pray or only allow to pray every day, as the enemy is planning, I'm bush for you, families and friends. Your prayer that you offer that morning will be able to destroy that ambush against your life, against your destiny, against your children, against your grandchildren, against your family, against your loved one. God will destroy the evil plans of the enemy because of your prayer. The enemy is not resting, families and friends. He is recruiting every day, recruiting new people every day to attack the children of God, the house of God. But you and I have to pray for the church. We need to pray for our community. We need to pray for our loved ones, our families, our the church, the church members, our neighbors, the whole world. We need to pray for the world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. This is the words of the Lord, brothers and sisters, that God said we should pray at all times. Pray without ceasing. There's no special time for us to pray. We pray every hour of the day, every minute of the day. God is willing to listen to us. We need to bear a relationship with our God, our maker, our creator. We need to be an intimate relationship with God by communicating with him every day. Getting closer to him, that he will get closer to us. Knowing him, our God. And getting deeper with him, families and friends. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. He's good and faithful. For. He's good and faithful. Our God is good to you. He's good to you and our families and friends. He will be faithful. This is only the short message I'm bringing to you about prayer. That we learn to pray without ceasing. We will go into our cross and offer our prayer. That our Father that sees us in secret or we walk openly. Brothers and sisters, we should not use repeated word, vain word in our prayer. Families and friends. Because our Heavenly Father already knows what we are praying about. And so Father, I want to thank you for this live video. I bless it for your people that will come across this video. I pray, oh God, I love you touch the heart of God on the land of prayer. You said we should pray without ceasing. Oh God, as Jesus prayed with his disciples before his crucifixion, before his betrayal, he went to pray to his father three times. This is how we need to pray and pay a concrete relationship with our God, our maker, our creator, a communication and an intimate relationship with our God. Hallelujah. To be closer to him that he'll be closer to us. And so, Father, that we pray, he will hear our cry. 
and our supplication, our prayer requests. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Father, I just come to tell you, thank you for your word. Your people that are yet listening to your word, bless their heart as your word has come forth today. Let it not only be the hearer of your word, God, but the doer of it. That it, your word will change the life. As a subscribe to the YouTube channel, to like my video, share, and leave a comment. That, Lord, you should have reached the blessing in doing that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You will bless them. They're going out and they're coming in. Because why? They're hacking onto the voice of the Lord and they obey your word. Hallelujah. They obey your word. They share your word to the person standing and listen to the gospel to be saved. Hallelujah. They're supporting your kingdom work on earth. And because of that, oh God, you will never fail them. Because of that, you are too faithful to fail them. You are so faithful to disappoint them. As the son say, I bless your name, oh God, I worship you. I give you praise. Let me decree and you increase in this place on this platform. Everyone on my platform, I see it with the blood of Jesus. I come against every hatred and obstacle, temptation, evil spirit, limitation, setback, disappointment, obstacle, evil I are busted, evil out of the enemy. On my platform, I cover my platform with the blood of Jesus. My people that follow me and support me, I cover them, their families, with the blood of Jesus. As they follow me, oh God, to listen to me, oh God, let them be blessed, let them do new things in the life of your people that support me on this channel, oh God, to watch me and listen to your word. Father, do something marvelous in the life that will testify to your goodness. Hallelujah. You say you never leave us, not forsake us. Help us to pick out our broken pieces and give it to you, oh God. The Lord, you mow it, mow us, and make us complete in the name of Jesus. I thank you and I bless you and I honor your name for your goodness, for your faithfulness, your grace, all your love for your people, your kindness, for your miracle all our life. We come to say thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. You will be faithful. Thank you, Papa. I bless your name and I just worship you for your word today. I just thank you and I just honor your name for your faithfulness and your grace. Have your way. Let your will be done. This is our prayer. Lord, I have come to join my brothers and my sisters on the live video. That Lord, you will guide and protect them. You will direct their footsteps. You will give them the strength and the grace, oh God. You said, oh God, our spirit is waiting, but our flesh is weak. Prepare our body and our soul in seeking to pray all the days of our life, oh God. To pray and stay firm in the things of God. To pray out at all times. To pray without ceasing, as your word said. To prepare our heart and our soul body to pray. Hallelujah. Put it on our breastplate of our helmet, our buckler, the bear of salvation. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for your word. I bless you and I honor you. Have your will, God. Minister unto your people, be with them. Keep them from harm and danger. Save their life from harm and danger. Direct the full step in the red path they need to go. Holy Spirit, lead them. Speak to their heart of God. Let them build a concrete relationship with you. Let them pray when they want to pray to you. Let them go into the closet and close the door and pray to you in secret. You that see them in secret, go to the world and open them, including myself in the name of Jesus. I thank you for my children, grandchildren. I bless you for the world. I bless you for the pregnant women, the handicapped, the doctors, hallelujah, the nurses, oh God, the handicapped, the single mothers, the widows. I just bless you for every living soul, the hungry people. Father, you are the provider, oh God. Touch the heart of, of people. Donors, oh God, I will come to help to support the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. To support this platform, oh God. Bring forth people to help me to support this platform. That will be a help unto your children in the name of Jesus. I thank you that I bless you. Thank you for your word that have come, oh God. Help us to be the year, year and the tour. Help your people bless their hearts, bless their home and their children. Bless the entire family, their work, and everything, oh God, will find to do, oh God. Let, let it be blessed. Anything the hands find to do. Let it be blessed through your power and your miracle. I thank you and I bless you, Lord. Have your way in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the friend, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and our night forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace that surpasses all understanding. Now and forevermore. May the peace of God dwell with you, families and friends, and abide with you through all your life. Hallelujah. As you trust in the Lord, as you support this channel, may God bless you in everything that you're going to do. The works of your hands and everything that you ever seek and hope and ask for in the name of Jesus. 
I thank you that bless you. I bless the name of the Lord today with you. Stay blessed now. Our message friends and let the peace of God be with you. Shalom.